you ever heard of the tale of John Henry? He worked long ago on the railroads. He was strong. He worked hard. He was the best railroad worker ever. No one knows for sure if there was ever a real John Henry. But many songs tell of such a man. John Henry was born in the South. He is the biggest baby ever seen in those parts. But one thing was even more amazing than his size. John Henry was born with a hammer in his hand. A five pound hammer. That's what they say. <laughs> John Henry only put his hammer down to eat. For that, he needed two hands. That baby could eat. He ate more than five and eight. And that was just the first day. Nobody could believe how much that baby could eat. One day, John Henry sat on his daddy's knee. He held a hammer in his hand. He lifted it like it was a feather. <laughs> Then, then baby John said his very first words. He said, I'll die with a hammer in my hand. John Henry's mama did not like the sound of that. She took that hammer away. <laughs> <laughs> John Henry tried to play with other things, but nothing was as good as his hammer. That hammer felt like a part of him. He missed that hammer. John Henry grew up to be a big, fine man. Soon it was time for him to leave home. He needed to make his own way now. When he left, his daddy gave him something. It was the hammer. Now everything seemed right. Soon John Henry found a wife. Her name was Lucy Ann. They were very happy together. <laughs> something wasn't right. John Henry wanted something more. He wanted to work with his hammer in his hand. Then everything would seem right. So John Henry and Lucy moved west. One day they heard a sound. Listen, ring, clink, ring, clink, ring, clink. Right away, John Henry knew. It was the sound of hammer sitting steel. John Henry got a good feeling. Something just felt right. John Henry hot-footed it right to the sound. He saw men making a railroad tunnel through a mountain. The men hit long steel pipes into the rock. They hammered the sprites into the rock. Then they took the spikes out and put dynamite in the hole. Little by little, they blasted through the mountain. The men were called steel drivers. Before the day was done, John Henry had a job. Steel driving was hard at work, but John Henry took it right away. He could swing a 20-pound hammer. He worked so fast, it sounded like church bells. <laughs> cling, ring, cling, ring, cling, ring. Soon he was the best steel driver ever. Then one day, a man came to camp with a funny machine. Looking machine. He said it was a steam drill. He said it could drill holes faster than five men. <laughs> but John Henry knew he could beat that steam drill. So they set up a race. Clink, ring, clink, ring. Clink, ring, clink, ring. John Henry's hammer rang. The steam drill hissed. Faster and faster they were. John Henry worked so fast that his hammer sounded like thunder. At the end of the day, the race was over. John Henry was right. He could be the steam drill. His holes were bigger and deeper. The men all cheered. John Henry was still the best. <laughs> but John Henry laid down tired to his own. And he died with his hammer in his hand. He, he died with a hammer in his hand. hand.